bred for strength, speed, and loyalty. Some dog breeds have developed a reputation that stirs both fear and fascination. From legendary guardians to misunderstood outcasts, join us as we explore the world's most controversial breeds and find out why this dog is illegal in most countries. Number 17. Dogo Argentino. A dog is no match for lions or wild boars, but in Argentina they bred a beast that makes predators think twice. Meet the Dogo Argentino, a canine colossus standing up to 27 inches tall and weighing as much as 100 pounds. This living battering ram of fur and fang doesn't just level the playing field against the wild game, it flips the script entirely. When mountain lions prowl the pampas or wild boars rampage through the brush, it's this imposing mastiff that locals summon to turn the tables. Yet for all its ferocity in the hunt, this Argentine Titan has a softer side. At home, that massive frame becomes a gentle giant, a loyal guardian that would move mountains to protect its human family. Developed in the 1920s by Dr. Antonio Norez Martinez, the Dogo Argentino was created by crossing various breeds, including the Cordoba Fighting Dog, Great Dane, Spanish Mastiff, and Bull Terrier. The result was a powerful, agile, and tenacious hunter, capable of taking down prey much larger than itself. With their strong jaws and relentless pursuit, these dogs became invaluable partners to Argentine hunters. But the Dogo Argentino is more than just a skilled hunter. They are also known for their unwavering loyalty and deep bond with their owners. When properly trained and socialized, they make excellent family companions and vigilant guardians. Their imposing presence alone is often enough to deter potential intruders, but they will not hesitate to defend their loved ones if threatened. However, the Dogo Argentino's strength and hunting instincts come with a caveat. In the wrong hands, these dogs can become dangerous weapons. Many countries, including the United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand, have banned or restricted the breed due to concerns over their potential for aggression. Responsible ownership, including proper training, socialization, and control, is crucial to ensure that these powerful dogs remain well-behaved and safe. Number 16. Fila Brasileiro. Towering at 30 inches and tipping the scales at 180 pounds, the Fila Brasileiro is a canine titan. This breed, also known as the Brazilian Mastiff, emerged in the crucible of colonialism where Portuguese dogs met native breeds to forge a new guardian of the land. Born in the 1400s, the Fila quickly became more than just a dog. With a nose that could track scents for miles and a will as strong as the Amazon itself, these mastiffs were weaponized by slave owners. Their grim purpose to hunt down and recapture those desperately seeking freedom. But the Fila Brasileiro's history is not the only thing that sets them apart. These dogs are known for their aggressive and impulsive temperament, making them a challenging breed to handle. They are fiercely territorial and will not hesitate to confront any perceived threat to their family or property. This aggressive nature, combined with their powerful build, has led to the Fila Brasileiro being banned or restricted in several countries, including the United Kingdom and Australia. Despite their controversial past and reputation, the Fila Brasileiro are still valued by many for their loyalty and guarding abilities. In Brazil, they are often used as guard dogs for homes and livestock, as well as hunting dogs for tracking large game. Their imposing presence and fearless demeanor make them a formidable deterrent to would-be intruders. Number 15. Staffordshire Bull Terrier The Staffordshire Bull Terrier, staffy to its fans, is a study in contrasts. Born in the gritty heart of industrial England, this compact powerhouse packs the punch of a heavyweight into a middleweight frame. With muscles that ripple beneath a velvet coat and a jaw that could crush bone, the Staffy seems built for battle. Yet behind those soulful eyes lies a heart of pure gold. Fiercely loyal and comically affectionate, this breed has sparked both adoration and controversy, challenging perceptions of what it means to be man's best friend. 
The Staffordshire Bull Terrier's origins can be traced back to the 19th century when they were bred for the cruel sport of dog fighting. Miners and factory workers in the Staffordshire region of England sought to create a dog that was both strong and agile, capable of holding its own in the pit. The result was a breed that combined the tenacity of the bulldog with the agility of the terrier, creating a dog that was both fearless and determined. But as dogfighting was outlawed and attitudes towards animal welfare changed, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier found a new role as a beloved family pet. Their friendly and affectionate nature, combined with their loyalty and courage, made them a popular choice for families looking for a devoted companion. Today, the Staffy is known for their love of children and their ability to form deep bonds with their human family. Despite their friendly nature, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier's history as a fighting dog has led to misconceptions about the breed. Many people assume that these dogs are inherently aggressive or dangerous, but nothing could be further from the truth. With proper training and socialization, Staffies are no more likely to show aggression than any other breed. Number 14. Rottweiler In the halls of history, few breeds have left as indelible a mark as the Rottweiler. With their powerful build, keen intelligence, and unwavering loyalty, these dogs have served as guardians, protectors, and companions for centuries. But their path to prominence is a story of service, sacrifice, and controversy, one that has earned them both admiration and fear. The Rottweiler's origins can be traced back to ancient Rome, where they were used as herding dogs and guardians of livestock. As the Roman legions marched across Europe, they brought their trusty Rottweilers with them, using their strength and courage to protect their camps and supplies. In the centuries that followed, the Rottweiler continued to serve as a working dog, guarding estates and factories, and even pulling carts loaded with meat and other goods to market. But it was in the 20th century that the Rottweiler truly came into its own as a breed. During World War I and II, Rottweilers served as military dogs, carrying messages and supplies across battlefields and guarding prisoners of war. Their bravery and loyalty earned them a reputation as a breed of unmatched courage and devotion. This is why this dog is illegal in most countries. In the decades that followed, Rottweilers became a popular choice for police and military work, as well as for personal protection and companionship. Their imposing size and powerful build combined with their keen intelligence and trainability, made them a formidable presence in any situation. But their reputation as a dangerous breed also grew, fueled by sensationalized media reports of attacks and aggression. Today, the Rottweiler remains a controversial breed, with some cities and countries banning or restricting their ownership. But for those who know and love these dogs, the Rottweiler is a breed like no other. With proper training and socialization, they can be gentle giants, fiercely loyal to their families and protective of those they love. Number 13. Alibi Guardians of the steppes, the alibi stand as living fortresses of fur and muscle. These Central Asian behemoths, bred to face down wolves and bears, now find themselves at odds with modern society. In the 20th century, Russian biologists further developed the alibi for military and security purposes, honing their natural guarding instincts and creating a breed that is fiercely loyal and protective of their human families. However, this same loyalty and protectiveness, combined with their strong will and independent nature, have led to concerns over their potential for aggression if not properly trained and socialized. As a result, Denmark has implemented strict laws banning the ownership and breeding of alibase, citing the need to protect public safety. These laws apply not only to Danish residents, but also to tourists and visitors who may bring their alibay into the country. The decision to ban the breed has been controversial, with advocates arguing that proper training and responsible ownership can mitigate the risks, while critics maintain that the breed's inherent qualities make them unsuitable for most households. Number 12. American Staffordshire Terrier. Misunderstood Titan, feared fighter, loyal friend. The American Staffordshire Terrier wears many labels. This muscular breed, sculpted by a brutal past, 
now stands at the center of canine controversy. With their muscular build, powerful jaws, and infamous history as fighting dogs, these dogs have been the subject of fear, prejudice, and outright bans in many parts of the world. But behind the headlines and the hype lies a breed of remarkable loyalty, courage, and affection, one that has captured the hearts of countless dog lovers. The American Staffordshire Terrier, or Amstaff, as they are affectionately known, is a breed with roots that stretch back to the 19th century. Originally bred in England as a fighting dog, the Amstaff was a cross between the Bulldog and various Terrier breeds, resulting in a dog that was both powerful and agile. When these dogs were brought to America, they quickly gained a reputation as formidable fighters and were used in the cruel and brutal sport of dogfighting. But as attitudes towards animal welfare changed and dogfighting was outlawed, the American Staffordshire Terrier found a new role as a beloved family pet. Their loyalty, courage, and affection for their human companions made them a popular choice for families looking for a devoted and protective companion. While their history as fighting dogs has led to misconceptions about their temperament, the truth is that with proper training and socialization, Amstaffs are no more likely to show aggression than any other breed. The American Staffordshire Terrier is a powerful and athletic breed with a strong prey drive and a high energy level. They require plenty of exercise and mental stimulation to keep them happy and healthy, and they thrive on human companionship. Without proper care and attention, these dogs can become destructive or develop behavioral issues. But the road to acceptance has been a long and difficult one for the American Staffordshire Terrier. In many parts of the world, these dogs are still subject to breed-specific legislation, which seeks to ban or restrict their ownership based on their appearance or reputation. And while advocates for the breed argue that such laws are misguided and ineffective, the stigma surrounding the Amstaff remains. Number 11. Doberman Pinscher The Doberman Pinscher, a sleek and powerful breed, owes its existence to the vision of one man, Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman, a German tax collector who sought a loyal and fearless companion to protect him during his rounds in the dangerous streets of 19th century Germany. The result was a dog that embodied strength, intelligence, and unwavering loyalty, standing up to 28 inches tall and weighing up to 100 pounds. The Doberman Pinscher quickly gained a reputation as one of the finest guard dog breeds, serving with distinction in various roles, including as police and military dogs during World War II. Their keen intelligence, trainability, and protective instincts made them invaluable assets in many high-stakes situations. However, the Doberman Pinscher's reputation as a fearsome and aggressive breed has also led to them being banned or restricted in many U.S. cities and other countries. Despite this, with proper training and socialization, the Doberman Pinscher can be a gentle and affectionate companion, forming a deep bond with their human family and thriving on mental and physical stimulation. Number 10. American Bulldog Unsung heroes of the American frontier, American Bulldogs are living legends carved from muscle and grit. These powerhouses, with jaws that could crush bone and hearts full of courage, have guarded homesteads and hearts for generations. From farm sentinels to family protectors, their story is woven into the fabric of American life. Yet their journey hasn't been without struggle. Misunderstood and sometimes feared, these loyal giants have faced controversy and prejudice. The American Bulldog's origins can be traced back to the early 17th century when English Bulldogs were brought to the New World by settlers and farmers. These dogs were used for a variety of tasks, including guarding property, herding livestock, and even hunting wild boar and other dangerous game. But it was in the cruel and brutal sport of bull baiting that the American Bulldog truly made its mark, showcasing its strength, agility, and tenacity in the face of incredible odds. As attitudes towards animal welfare changed and bull baiting was outlawed, the American Bulldog found a new purpose as a working dog and loyal companion. They served as farmhands, police dogs, 
and even military mascots, earning a reputation for their bravery and devotion. However, their history as fighting dogs also led to misconceptions about their temperament, and many cities and countries began to ban or restrict their ownership. The American Bulldog remains a controversial breed, with some praising their loyalty and courage, while others fear their potential for aggression. But with proper training and socialization, they can be gentle giants, fiercely protective of their families, and always ready for a game of tug of war or a long walk in the park. But they can also be stubborn and independent, requiring patience and persistence to train and control. With their powerful build and strong prey drive, American Bulldogs can pose a risk to smaller pets and even children, if not properly socialized and supervised. Number 9. Tosa Inu The Tosa Inu, also known as the Japanese Mastiff, is a breed steeped in history and controversy. Originating in Japan, these massive dogs, standing up to 24 inches tall and weighing as much as 200 pounds, were originally bred for the brutal sport of dogfighting, where their strength, agility, and tenacity were highly prized. Today, the Tosa Inu remains the only breed still legally bred for fighting in Japan. Despite their fighting background, the Tosa Inu can also be a loyal and devoted companion forming a deep bond with their human family based on trust and respect. However, their strong will and independent nature require an experienced owner who can provide firm leadership and consistent training. The Tosa Inu faces numerous challenges in the modern world, including bans and restrictions in many countries due to their history as fighting dogs. Their potential for aggression towards other animals also makes them unsuitable for homes with other pets. Number eight. Tibetan Mastiff. Guardian of the roof of the world, the Tibetan Mastiff looms large in both size and legend. This mountain colossus, draped in a lion's mane of fur, has stood sentinel over Himalayan monasteries and villages for millennia. More bear than dog, these giants embody the untamed spirit of Tibet itself. Their deep bark echoes through mountain passes, a warning to wolves, leopards, and human intruders alike. Standing up to 26 inches tall at the shoulder and weighing as much as 150 pounds, the Tibetan Mastiff is a formidable presence with a deep, booming bark that can be heard for miles. They were originally used as guardians of monasteries and villages, protecting against thieves, bandits, and even wild predators such as wolves and snow leopards. Their thick, double coat and strong, muscular build made them well-suited to the harsh climate and rugged terrain of the Himalayas. But the Tibetan Mastiff is more than just a guard dog. They are also known for their deep bond with their human families, showing unwavering loyalty and affection to those they trust. However, they can be aloof and suspicious of strangers, making them unsuitable for owners who desire a social and outgoing companion. Tibetan Mastiffs require experienced handlers who can provide firm, consistent leadership and plenty of socialization from an early age to prevent aggression and ensure a well-rounded, well-behaved dog. Number seven, Blue Nose Pitbull. Steel blue coat, muscles of iron, heart of gold. The Blue Nose Pitbull defies easy categorization. This striking variant of the American Pitbull Terrier stands at the epicenter of canine controversy, its very name sparking debate. With their powerful build and fierce reputation, these dogs have been the subject of fear, prejudice, and outright bans in many parts of the world. But behind the headlines and hype lies a breed of remarkable loyalty, courage, and affection. The Blue Nose Pit Bull is not a separate breed, but rather a variation of the American Pit Bull Terrier or American Staffordshire Terrier, distinguished by its distinctive blue-gray coat and nose. Like their cousins, blue-nosed pit bulls were originally bred for the cruel and brutal sport of dogfighting, where they were prized for their strength, agility, and tenacity. But as attitudes towards animal welfare changed and dogfighting was outlawed, these dogs found new purpose as loyal companions and working dogs. They are also highly intelligent and trainable, excelling in a variety of roles including therapy dogs, search and rescue dogs, 
and even police and military canine units. However, their history as fighting dogs has led to misconceptions about their temperament, and many cities and countries have banned or restricted their ownership. Number six, Cane Corso. In the rolling hills of Italy, a powerful guardian has stood watch for centuries. The Cane Corso, a majestic mastiff breed, has a history that is as rich and complex as the land from which they hail. With their muscular build, noble bearing, and unwavering loyalty, these dogs have earned a reputation as one of the most impressive and formidable breeds in the world. The Cane Corso's origins can be traced back to ancient Rome, where they were used as war dogs, fighting alongside the Roman legions in battles across Europe. Their courage and strength made them invaluable allies on the battlefield, and their loyalty to their human companions was unmatched. As the Roman Empire fell, the Cane Corso adapted to new roles as guardians of farms and estates, protecting livestock and property from thieves and predators. In modern times, the Cane Corso has become a popular choice for those seeking a powerful and protective companion. Standing up to 28 inches tall at the shoulder and weighing as much as 120 pounds, these dogs command respect and admiration wherever they go. Their short, dense coat and muscular build give them an imposing presence, while their intelligent and expressive eyes hint at the deep bond they form with their owners. But owning a Caney Corso is not for everyone. These dogs require experienced handlers who can provide firm, consistent training and socialization from an early age. Without proper guidance, their natural guarding instincts can lead to aggressive behavior towards strangers and other animals. Cane Corsos also has high exercise needs, requiring daily walks and plenty of space to run and play. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. The Perro de Presa Canario, also known as the Canary Mastiff, is a breed that demands respect and caution due to its formidable strength and dominating presence. Originating in the Canary Islands, these powerful dogs were once used for herding livestock, guarding property, and most notoriously, illegal dogfighting. The Presa Canario's imposing stature, fearless nature, and incredible bite force of up to 540 pounds per square inch make them a formidable opponent. Their muscular build, often weighing up to 150 pounds, combined with their aggressive tendencies when not properly trained, pose a significant threat. This is why this dog is illegal in most countries, as their potential for aggression and unmatched physical prowess pose significant risks to public safety. The breed's strong will and independent nature also make them challenging to train and unsuitable for inexperienced owners. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments. Number five, St. Bernard. In the snowy peaks and treacherous passes of the Swiss Alps, a breed of dog has stood as a symbol of hope and salvation for centuries. St. Bernard, with its massive size, gentle nature, and unwavering courage, is a true icon of the region. A living embodiment of the selfless devotion and heroic spirit that have made them one of the most beloved and recognizable breeds in the world. Standing up to 30 inches tall at the shoulder and weighing as much as 180 pounds, the St. Bernard is a formidable presence with a thick, muscular build and a deep, resonant bark that can be heard for miles. They were originally bred by monks at the Great Saint, Bernard Hospice in the Swiss Alps, where they were used as rescue dogs to find and save travelers lost in the snow. With their keen sense of smell, powerful strength, and uncanny ability to navigate through blizzards and avalanches, St. Bernard's are credited with saving thousands of lives over the centuries. But the St. Bernard is more than just a rescue dog. They are also known for their gentle and affectionate nature, with a deep bond with their human families and a love of children that has made them a popular choice for families around the world. Despite their reputation as gentle giants, St. Bernard's do have some challenges as pets. They are prone to a number of health issues, including hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, and eye problems, and their large size and strong will can make them difficult to control for inexperienced owners. They also have a relatively short lifespan for a dog of their size, 
with an average life expectancy of just eight to 10 years. Number four, Kuvash. The Kuvash, a majestic and loyal guardian breed, has a history that spans centuries in Hungary. Originally bred to protect livestock from predators in the mountainous regions of Mesopotamia, the Kuvash found its true calling when it was brought to Hungary by the Magyar tribes in the 9th century. These powerful dogs, standing up to 30 inches tall and weighing up to 115 pounds, became the faithful protectors of their human families and their property. Despite their impressive size and strength, the Kuvash is not a breed for everyone. They are known for their fierce territorial instincts and protective nature, which can lead to aggression towards strangers and other animals if not properly socialized. Their independent and strong-willed personality also makes them challenging to train, requiring an experienced and confident owner who can provide firm and consistent leadership. The Kuvash's unique personality and guarding instincts have led to them being banned or restricted in many U.S. states and European countries. However, for those who can provide the necessary training and socialization, the Kuvash can be a loyal and devoted companion, forming an unbreakable bond with their human family built on trust and respect. Number three, Neapolitan Mastiff. The Neapolitan Mastiff, or Mastino Napolitano, is a massive and imposing breed that originated in Southern Italy, where they were bred as guardians and protectors of homes and property. Standing up to 31 inches tall and weighing as much as 150 pounds, these powerful dogs command respect and admiration wherever they go. As with many large, strong breeds, the Neapolitan Mastiff requires an experienced and confident owner who can provide firm leadership and consistent training. They are intelligent and independent, with a stubborn streak that can make them challenging to train. Their potential for aggression towards other animals and strangers also necessitates careful socialization. The Neapolitan Mastiff's size and strength have led to bans and restrictions in some countries and U.S. states, and they may even require a psychological evaluation before ownership in certain areas. Number two, Guldong. In the late 19th century, during the height of British colonial rule in India, a formidable breed of dog emerged that would soon capture the attention of the empire. The Guldong, a deliberate cross between the tenacious Gull Terrier and the powerful Bully Kuta, was developed in the Punjab region around 1870. This fearsome and imposing creature was initially bred for the brutal sport of dogfighting, a popular but controversial pastime among both British colonials and wealthy Indians. Revered for its strength, courage, and tenacity, the Guldong quickly gained notoriety throughout the subcontinent and beyond. Standing up to 35 inches tall at the shoulder and weighing as much as 170 pounds, the Guldong is a massive and intimidating presence with a powerful, muscular build and a fierce, determined expression. Originally used as fighting dogs, they were pitted against each other in bloody battles for the entertainment of the wealthy and powerful. However, as the British Empire expanded and attitudes towards animal welfare evolved, dogfighting was gradually outlawed in many regions. Consequently, the Gull Dong found a new purpose as a formidable guard dog and protector. The Gull Dong remains a controversial breed, with many countries and cities banning or restricting their ownership due to their history and potential for aggression. They can be stubborn and independent, with a strong prey drive and a tendency towards aggression if not properly managed. However, with patience, consistent training, and a deep understanding of the breed's needs, the Gull Dong can be a loyal and devoted companion. These dogs are fiercely protective of their families and, when properly socialized, can be excellent guardians. Despite their intimidating reputation, they often enjoy engaging in activities like tug-of-war or long walks, showcasing their energy and strength in more positive ways. Number 1. Tornjak the Tornjak, also known as the Bosnian Herzegovinian Croatian Shepherd Dog, is a breed with a rich history as a livestock guardian in the rugged mountains of Bosnia and Herzegovina. 
Standing up to 27 inches tall and weighing as much as 130 pounds, these impressive dogs are known for their strength, courage, and unwavering loyalty. As with many guardian breeds, the Torn Jack requires an experienced owner who can provide firm leadership and consistent training. They are intelligent and independent, with a strong will and a potential for stubbornness. Their high prey drive and potential for aggression towards strangers and other animals also necessitate careful socialization. Despite the challenges of owning a torn jock, including heavy restrictions and bans in some countries like Denmark, the rewards are immeasurable for those willing to take on the responsibility. These loyal and devoted companions form deep, lasting bonds with their human families and excel as watchdogs and guardians. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.